All right, guys, so this is gonna be a video of us really breaking down this. Look at this drawing she that did. Is so broken You down. did that, it looks like an Easter egg. Did what I a loser, that? what a loser. Did I do that? I drew it up. So what we're gonna do is we're really gonna come in and break down what we like. We're gonna measure everything out. You guys already saw the full tour. We tried to go through uh, the best we could and show you guys, and now we're gonna go through and show you guys what we like and don't like and measuring everything so when we go back, literally, like we've told you on the live chat, Coffee Crockers, everything we thought is out the window at this point. Mm -hmm. We are literally coming back from scratch, which I'm very glad we came here. Mm -hmm. So let's get busy measuring and talking about how we want everything. This is gonna take a minute, but we're excited. All right, so we're gonna start right here at the doorway mm -hmm. and the windows. So let's go ahead and start at the window real quick. The first thing we saw was they actually curved yeah. the uh, trim. The trim is curved with the wall. I yeah, you guys even right tell. here, the yeah. top part of it. We'll try to do like a little B-roll shot of that over as we're talking. But um, the cool thing is you wanna show them this window? So it actually unlocks and, and then, then you can uh, twist it open. The other way. There you go. Yeah. And the whole window will open up. You don't have to that's, do the whole thing, but that's, that's pretty nice. cool. There we go. I now, no out. screens which is kind of a bummer, but it all flies in. yeah, that is pretty freaking cool. So again, the point of this video is to really look how they did everything. And we'll take you on the outside um, here in just a second, show you, but uh, as you can tell, it's all wood in here. Everything is very, very nice and good. Uh, the main thing is how in the world did they frame it on the outside? That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, so I kind of thought a little bit about welding up frames, but I didn't think about it sticking out. This is actually pretty smart, and they had them all pre-welded up and then stuck them in there. I don't know how they attached it to the building, but uh, the fact that it was already pre-welded and everything on there and it's sticking out and then cocked up and everything, uh, very, very smart idea for the windows, and that's something that I think we'll do. And then on the inside here, you could tell that they uh, siliconed it and everything. So pretty smart idea, and I think we're gonna steal that. We're gonna jump back into here, but then we'll show you guys how they did the porch and everything on the outside at the end of the video. So the door is the same way? Yeah, same thing with the door. You yeah. can probably see the door curvature more. Yeah. Um, do you like the door with the windows in it? Love it. Love it? Yeah. Because there's only two windows down here, huh? Yeah. If you guys can't tell, the lighting in here is amazing. That's yeah. one thing I notice immediately. The lighting's great. It, there's only two windows down here. Yeah. And they're smaller windows. Even with the glaze on the uh, door, which is good, you get privacy, but it also lets in that light. Mm -hmm. And they also framed it just like the windows. Yeah. One thing we were looking at with the door is, did they cut the ring that holds the whole thing together or not? Yeah. I think they cut it. Yeah. You think it's still there? I don't. I can't tell. At first, I thought so, but then it's hard to tell because you guys can see the metal down there. But that's yeah. actually the frame of the whole door they welded up. Mm -hmm. But then there's a gap, so we don't know if they left it or not. And we'll show you guys here in a minute on the outside too. They did like a spray foam, mm -hmm. uh, rubber sealant on it. So I don't know if that's under there. Yeah. Not 100% sure, but for us, we're gonna try to keep the ring to the very bottom. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we'll show you in a future video coming up. Yeah. But these are some of the major things that we really have to think about. How do we frame a curved metal building? Mm -hmm. Here in the living room, we're gonna go ahead and measure the uh, fireplace. And uh, the fireplace itself is 24. Can you go down there? Can you mark this down? Well, yeah. Right there? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's 24 by 66, so that's pretty good. Yeah. That's probably a, uh, let's see, a 65 inch TV. Mm -hmm. And then this mantle here is about seven, and almost the whole thing, about seven inches by five foot. So this is a big old thick uh, mantle, we really like it. I don't think we would do anything as wide as this. Yeah, that's what I'm um, saying. Whatever we do, this is nice, yeah. but I think it'd be smaller. Yeah, plus we have an electric fireplace, so two feet by 66 inches. Right now. And then we're gonna go to the edge of the uh, island, which is right almost at 15 foot. Mm. And then the back of the couch, uh, actually we'll say the front of the couch, is nine foot so we're just kind of figuring out how wide this living room is yeah. and uh, it's going to be a little difficult doing it this way we could always measure it but it doesn't really matter so 
I'll tell you, uh, we go to 12 just for these R's. The center of R's would be at... Like, 12 would be right here. Okay. So the center here um, is pretty much this would be it if we had a loft and this was underneath in the living room. So that's really not bad. So that was 11 feet to the front of the couch. And then to the island, to the wall, is 15 foot. All right, so the big thing AO likes is, uh, is big old countertops and uh, island. This is 86 inches, just over seven feet. Mm. A seven foot island in a tiny house. That's crazy. And then uh, 38 and a half, so we'll say 39. So basically almost a three foot by seven foot island mm. in the middle of a gray bin. I love that. That's crazy. There's space between the island to and the here? next. Yeah, it's, it doesn't need to be any bigger than that. Three foot. That's, yeah, three foot, that's not bad at all yeah. right there. For us though, uh, I think we want a bigger kitchen, just a little bit. We don't need a lot. Nope. But the problem with this, I actually didn't even think about it until Jason pointed it out is the fact that it's right up against this wall. You're in your cooking, things are gonna be splashing. And then two, I don't know, just need a little bit more room. Yeah, even if it was a countertop like this, on, this on side. that side, because again, if you have your pot handles, you, can, yeah. you know, you're gonna start seeing stuff uh, splashing the side, the heat, you don't ever wanna deal with that. But this is a normal size stove, 30 inches, and then you have a big microwave. I mean, you're not, you're not slacking at all. You got big old cabinets and everything. I don't even know if you can see up there. Probably not. But um, full drawers and all of that. I mean, this is a great size. We would just add a little bit more on that side because you have the whole countertop over here to uh, work on. Yeah, and also the fact that it has a full dishwasher. Yeah. You don't really see that a lot in tiny houses. So people wouldn't understand this, but there are different size refrigerators. Mm. So uh, it's a 30 inch by 66. And I, this is all we would need. I mean, it, we got pizza and drink. What okay. else do you need? But this is actually a really good size. And again, you got three foot. And when you open this up, oh. it just misses. And I think that's probably why they did that. Yeah, so, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, and then also, you gotta think, uh, you can make them open up whatever way you want. It would be a little weird if you open it this way, because you want to be cooking, doing everything, opening up, and that's stuff that people won't think about, is even the way you open your fridge and where it's placed and what's next to it can be a big pain in the butt. I can't, let's see if this opens up all the way. Okay, at least if you had to, you can squeeze by, not a lot. So, if it were us, I think I would scoot the fridge over a little bit to mm -hmm. where you could open it and still walk. So if you bring groceries in, you could do whatever. It gives you a little more room, but uh, I think it's pretty nice. What do you think about the chairs right there at the uh, counter? No, oh, right there. I like them, but whenever you are sitting at them, they're a little bit too high. So you just need different chairs, but you do yeah. like the fact that it is a, a built-in bar. Mm -hmm. It's not just an aisle, it's a built-in bar where you can hang out. That's the main thing we want, is hang out. Exactly, that's what we need. And then, realistically too, whenever you have this, we wouldn't ever need a table. Nope. We would just eat right here. Even with kids or anything, yeah. kids would love to have that. Yeah. Then also with these lights, I really like the hang down lights. Love it, it. it doesn't take up much room, but it's good lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like it. And plus it just sets the, uh, the mood of this. So I think that's something we have to really think about is even lighting can make such a big difference. Yeah. So back over here, it, we got our stuff in it, but it don't matter for this video. This is a uh, closet and then you come in, full washer and dryer in here. And then we have all our stuff over here hidden so we could uh, work and it wouldn't be in the videos. But big old laundry uh, area here. If it were me, I would probably take those drawers out and hang shirts. Oh, and yeah. then you can put your pants, whatever. And yeah. then over here, you have a whole nother. This one's not deep. This one's more for like brooms and whatnot. But um, laundry room is a big must for yes. us. Yeah. And we've lived without a washer and dryer for way too long. Yeah. And, yeah. and, I think we might make a half bath with the laundry in it. That was the original plan. plan. Uh, yeah. At I this point, we're not sure. Yeah. If you guys have 
a half bath with your laundry in it. Pros and cons, let us know. Yeah. So I do like that the stairs are right here, then underneath they utilize a little bit of a closet. Not as much as you would expect, but it is a cool little closet. You could use it for whatever. They have a cornhole and whatnot in there. But this, let's see. This little closet is about three, roughly three foot deep. So that's pretty cool. And then about seven or six foot. So about a, a three by six, clearly you got a little bit of curved walls. This is perfect for uh, winter clothes, uh, muddy boots, anything like that. You kind of just throw it away and here you don't have to worry about or it. Or like a pantry for food. You could, but if yeah. it were me, I think I would want because as far as I know, none of this is utilized. Mm -hmm. uh, people were even saying make drawers that go in oh, and you can yeah. utilize drawers or just use from this whole side over here as a pantry. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do all sorts of things. So that is something that, again, this is an Airbnb. You don't really need a pantry, but for us, utilize underneath the stairs. I, I think a pantry or um, storage extra, you know, trying to do more storage out of it, but it's pretty good. All right. so. Uh, we're, we're not really worried about this. We're not going to measure the table or anything. Uh, we know that we'll have extra space. We'll figure something out. Um, it is cool. I love the, the way it looks and everything, but for us, we don't need it. Um, I do like this. This is pretty freaking cool, like a coffee bar area. It's not taking up your space over there. I love that. That's yeah. a great idea. It's even better. When you go to a coffee bar and you or me, you need a pooper. So there's a little bathroom over here, as you guys saw on the tour. We're gonna measure it out. The one thing that my baby has figured out is this. Baby had to go tinkle when we first got here. So it's really not bad. When you're sitting here, you are like up against the wall a, a little, little too bit. Close. Again, it's not bad. I don't know if we would change that. But you could, if you yeah. look, you could move it over, and that's probably what we would do um, if we did that. I think. This is the hard part about a cement slab. They had to have their plumbing already put in place. And yeah. with us, because we did a deck, you can move it over and you can fudge it a little bit. Yeah. So I think they had set it and they had no idea exactly where it was going to be. And then it became a little too close to the wall. For yeah, us, we can move it over. So it's a little different because it's got a curve, but I'm going to, I'm going to just rough estimate here. That little wall is about three foot, but out here, um, is uh, if it was a straight wall, it'd be about a little over four foot. And then again, it's a curved wall, so it's hard to truly tell, but roughly, I just got paint all over my face. Roughly 56 foot in a little wall, but from here to there. All right, so, these stairs are way wider than we expected. Um, very, very pleased with that. Here, I'll come over here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just They're so pretty. Just a hair over four feet. This stuff. Just over four feet. Uh, it, it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, I again, very, very shocked. It's not steep. Uh, each uh, little whatever you want to call this step is. Plenty of room to step on. The window right here is cool that it goes with it. Uh, everything with it is great. I personally would have thought you'd have to make the stairs a little bit skinnier to uh, to really make it flow and not be overwhelming. And it, the stairs, it's it's a whole like art piece. It it, it may it. I have an idea for the stairs, and I and I think you guys are gonna love it. I'm very glad that we are drawing everything up again. We could take it with us and know all the different dimensions but the bedroom up there is what really surprised us and i think it even almost makes us want to do a full second floor um one thing that i would love but i'm terrified is doing tile uh i know there's ways to do it and clearly they did a really good job but i would be terrified to do tile in a crack but um i i did it blows my mind that there is a hallway and three bedrooms up here. All right, so the bathroom, we did use it. Don't look in the toilet. Let's go. No, 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 no. Um, there is my underwear. But um, so first off, the shower is great. It's huge, love it. Uh, but I'm not a fan of walking in and having this wall right here. It almost like closes it in. If 
I get it. You have to have it for the shower, but um, I, like, I wonder if you open the door the other way and then you just had glass. And if you walk in, if you make it feel a lot bigger. Yeah. You know, I don't know. But sure. then too, with the curved, I don't know if you guys can even tell, but the yeah, walls this curved. whole word, walls curved. Yeah, I don't know if you'd be able to open the door the other way. You could, it just wouldn't open up 100% fully. Again, I don't know, trial and error. Maybe if we came in and put the uh, shower the other direction, mm -hmm. made it a little bigger. I don't know, that's the whole point of this. But uh, you guys can tell there's plenty of room over here in the corner. They have the uh, plant and whatnot. A little bit of wasted space, but it also adds to it, the look. Um, I kind of like it. These huge, I love this. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Especially for, for a bathroom and have all your uh, stuff in there. I mean, that's absolutely perfect. So, one uh, thing for us, I think we would need a two sinker. I was later about to ask, are you more of a bigger vanity type of person? Just because of all my hair yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I need this section and then she needs everything else. But um, now, are you real big on having a big mirror or you don't really care? This is. Um, that mirror's fine, like yeah. that size, it doesn't have to be massive. Yeah, so this, if anyone's curious, is a 32 inch uh, countertop on here, which isn't terrible. And then, um, it's gonna be a little difficult. Let's see how wide the shower is. The shower is five foot. And then, I guess we gotta open this outer. We did shower here. Uh, absolutely loved it. Love the glass. And then uh, 34 inches. So five foot by 30, almost a three by six. And then I love the glass. It doesn't close it in. I would much rather have the glass than like curtains and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it just looks so good. I, I told Danielle, I said, I don't want a, uh, a shower kit or anything like that. Um, not that shower kits are bad, I, I love the tile look. You can even get shower kits that look like tile. Um, I just, I want a, a real tile floor. There's something about the feel of it. It just, I really, really like it. So we did at the uh, off-grid shed. It did. Mm -hmm. And then the original tiny shed house in Texas did tile, um, different style. But uh, I'm, I'm pleased with the bathroom and I would be more than happy. Mm -hmm. But I think I'd want it a little bigger. Yeah. That's what's good about this, So There's room to go bigger on a bathroom. The way we're going to set everything up? Yeah. Oh, we can go double this size if we want it. That's mm -hmm. what's crazy. Oh, my math. It's 12, 13, 14. All right, so back out of the stinker. Out here in the hallway, which is unfreaking real. Yeah, how wide is this? It is 43 inches the hallway, so try to draw that up. So this will come to here. What did I say? 43. And then um, you got your water heater here, which we may do or put it downstairs depending on where we want to do it, but that's like a really good size. And then over here, we don't need an HVAC. We'll probably do mini splits, huh? Yeah. Uh, most likely. So this right here could be a whole closet, um, you know, if, if someone wanted. Clearly, we're probably not going to do a full two-story. Like a nice little linen closet for blankies and yeah, sleeping bags, make pallet for friends to come over. Yeah, for Brandon. Brandon, <laughs> yeah, you don't get a bed for Brandon. You get a pallet. <laughs> um, but this little hallway is 36 inches which is nice. So we'll check out the little room first, which is awesome. Two twin beds, as you guys saw. 121 inches. So in the tour video, or in the uh, Crocker Life, we said like nine foot. And 121 is 10 foot. Close. Oh. And then this way. Hey, this is 10 foot. That's crazy. 10 foot by nine and a half. So this is almost the size of the little room at the house in town where the office was. That's wow. crazy. Wow. That's crazy. We were even thinking that just to have this part open as like- True, yeah. yeah. So you you could just, uh, the, the ceiling would be vaulted mm -hmm. and then you would have, the only thing is, is would we put walls? 
Yeah, because that would be hard with the ceiling. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's it's a, it's hard. So if you guys know, there are actual ceilings up here that's not vaulted to the top. Mm -hmm. It's probably really, really good for the insulation and stuff. But uh, for us, we want to see the vaulted ceilings. We mm -hmm. want to see it. We want the real peak of the, the grain bin. It's so much more work, but um, you would want to open all the way to the top, and you would hate to, like, yeah to like make a wall yeah, and like block stuff. Would you make a wall? It would just look weird almost all, if we do it that way. And where it goes up to the curvature of the, yeah. the slant. It, it would be okay. It's just, I don't know if that's the look we want. Mm -hmm. So, oh, and then there's a little closet. Um, Measure it up. Yeah. Sure. Forty-four by fifty-five. Let's just your head out there almost. The you could open the whole. Opens. You could open the whole window if you wanted. To uh, really see how they did it. Yeah. No. It's pr oh, true. I, yeah. True. Okay. Look at you thinking. The neighbors are gonna call the cops. That's smart. Smart baby. Yeah. They just literally siliconed the poo out of it. And each little flashing they cut to, to go with the curve. Mm. I would love to know if this place is leaked. Oh, that would only be to the porch anyways. Yeah. Because they didn't cut into it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright. So you guys got to see that. That's pretty cool. Looks like there might be a little bit of sprinkles out here right now. Let's start raining. Um, it would actually be cool to, if it does rain. To hear it? Yeah, one to hear and two to see if there's it's, leaks. Yeah, it starts leaking even on that. Um, yeah. Porch. Yeah, um, I do love that this room doesn't feel really small. Mm -mm. Um, it's decent size, and then um, again, if you didn't have to have two twin beds, even if you had kids, bunk beds, and you have plenty of room for the kids to hang out mm -hmm. and all that, uh, it's pretty cool. Really like it, but. Out here, we're gonna go to the other, not the master bedroom yet, but then you would just come down the hallway over here, if you guys saw the tour. All right, so in here, we're gonna go ahead and try to measure this across. I believe that is a queen bed, and this is 10 foot, 10 by, basically a 10 by 12. This is a good size room. Mm -hmm. um, it's not over the top big, but um, plenty big, even if our room was this size. Right, this plenty of size. This, these amazing sketches here, you know. Uh, what I do like is, again, the windows. There's not a lot, I mean, it's one window, but it's not dark in here. Oh, it lights up the whole thing. Yeah. It's just a, the lighting in here is just one little light. Yeah, and this, there is a window, but it's like cheap blinds. I don't blame them, it's a closet. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can get a whole lot more light oh, in wow. here. Yeah, if you open that up. This one doesn't have a, a door on it, which kind of cool, I guess, doesn't really matter, uh, especially Airbnb. And then um, uh, it just, it doesn't feel small. It, it you literally forget that it's round walls. It's uh, that's not what I expected. I expected to be in the silo and just really feel like the walls are kind of almost not not like you're losing a lot of space, but you're really not. So uh, pretty pretty awesome. I'm happy with that. So coming into the master bedroom, uh, this is what we're really excited about. It doesn't seem like the the room is a lot bigger. It might be, but the fact that this is a king bed and there's, there's plenty, plenty, of room. plenty, more than enough uh, to go around. So that is almost 11 foot and then 11 by 12. So pretty close to 11 by 12. And the thing is, if this is 11, and our grain bin is 24 and it'd be 12 to the middle, mm. but we have no wall, mm. it would be, you could fit a king's bed. Mm -hmm. And if it was half of the whole thing, half, say if half the loft was a bedroom, the other half was a bathroom, you're talking huge. Talk, you're talking a bathroom is, is this size, if not bigger. Like that's what's crazy. Well, I definitely drew this to proportion um, this is the master bedroom here. 
<laughs> That's why I'm just getting measurements. So we can get into that closet to see how big it is, but really, if you look, it ends where this- The doorway is? Yeah, where this starts. No, a little bit further back. It I does? can see, yeah. Oh. A little bit further, about where that bed starts. So the closet At starts- At least where the, where the light is, really. Yeah, so the closet starts right there. That's the whole that closet. Way, yeah, it's literally from here to there, and then in there, it's probably uh, about nine foot. So that's a decent. That's plenty of. Yeah, I, I need this much. And then you need like this much, but uh, plenty. I mean, that's freaking awesome. I wish we could see it, but it's okay that we can't. Uh, the one thing I do like that, again, this is the master bedroom, is you do have an accent wall. Whether it's painted or wood or whatever, it does add a little bit to it, and again, you truly forget this is the biggest curved wall in the bedrooms mm -hmm. and it's really not bad uh, it, it all like this is the weird thing it almost works out to where right around the bed when you walk around you're actually getting a little more room than rather if it was a flat wall and it was, and it was close to the thing so i don't know I, I really like it and i was really worried about the round walls and it adds to it mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to look at, like how it's built? Outside for sure. Okay. Looking at all that and uh Why is there like that? If you like the the wall, mm -hmm. you would were you just thinking where the no wall here and it would just be open? I don't so know. So you have like bathroom wall bedroom. Or, Okay. And then you walk out, say if you walk out here and, uh, you know, the bedroom could be a different size or whatever, but you walk out here and then this is your banister mm -hmm. and you're looking down into the living room, you lose privacy as far as, you know, that, but your bedroom would feel huge because there's no wall on it. And then also coming out of the hallway and then looking down, you get so much more looking down. And then also when you walk in and you look up, mm -hmm. it looks a lot bigger. There's a lot of pros and cons to it. Um, and then also when you're heating and cooling, you really don't have to worry about each room being a different temp. It's all open. Mm -hmm. But you also think, if your heat rises, it's definitely going to be hotter on the top than it is down we there. You just need a massive fan at the top to push it. Yes, but that'd be cool too because if we have a vaulted ceiling, mm -hmm. then you have that fan that is literally above your bedroom and downstairs. It, it's for both. Yeah. But and then, the lighting and everything. This is where we're at. To do we future proof it where we have a bedroom for a kid? Yeah. This is where it gets hard. Or if that happens, we just do an add on. I think that'd be your best bet. Let's go outside. And then also the... Oh, yeah. There's another window up there. And then if we get um, a picture of us made, we can hang it right here. Oh, that's nice. I think just one big picture of all of our dogs right there. It's a big picture of breakfast. Maybe. You know how most like, houses have a sign that says, like, breakfast. <laughs> Ours is just a picture. All right, let's go check out the outside, how everything's built, and then we're gonna measure the panels and see how tall the sucker actually is. Dang, guess how tall that ceiling is. I don't know. 10 foot. Dang. That's a 10 foot ceiling. So we know we already showed you guys how the windows are done. We're gonna show you guys the door and then how they uh, uh, did the porch stuff. You guys saw from above, we were wondering what the, uh, um, how they flashed, did all the flashing and stuff. This is interesting. As you can tell, they welded a whole frame around it. Is that what you expected? No. And then everything has to be sealed and cocked and everything really well. Uh, did you expect the house to have, to have that all over it? Yeah, the ceiling like that, mm -hmm. definitely. But the way they built it out, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I do like the fact that it is built out mm -hmm. instead of losing space on the inside. Yeah. So that is pretty cool. I really like that. So what's cool with this porch is they actually tried to cut the best they could mm -hmm. the uh, tongue and groove, the uh, car siding, in with the grooves 
of the uh, metal so it's not straightened and it doesn't look weird. Yeah. It's it not does, a perfect match. It's close enough that it looks pretty good. Yeah. And then uh, on the uh, roof again, they did flashing and all that stuff. I thought we were going to have to cut it. Mm -hmm. I thought we had to cut and put flashing under and stuff, which you probably could, but anytime you're cutting the exterior, there's a chance for leaking, and I would rather it leak onto the porch than on the inside. Mm -hmm. So just this alone has made me feel like we did the right thing and paid to come here. So I really do love the entryway. I don't know if we'll do a porch that big. Um, I love it, absolutely love it. It's but very nice. It's very, very nice, but I really do like the brick on the bottom, the stone. Mm -hmm. It matches the inside, the concrete and everything. C clearly, we're on a deck, yeah. but we could build out a deck and everything. I kind of like the fact that you have a pretty good entryway. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Everybody always asked us how we uh, framed up ours to the uh, deck. Well, they had the same type of brackets that hooked it into the concrete. Clearly, concrete's a lot stronger, but they have this foam. They literally foamed the whole thing and they did like a rubber sealant on the bottom here. But I think what I'm gonna do is tape it off real nice because I don't want sealant uh, all over the deck, but I do like the fact that this does waterproof it a little bit more. All right, big question. How tall is this sucker? So there's so, six. There's six of them? Yes. Okay, measure that. I'm going to say about four foot-ish. Four foot each? Yeah. How many? No, that's, wait, I mean, yeah. What what size is that? Where is it? Three foot, 44? 43 inches. So yeah. just under four foot yeah. because they overlap. Oh, yeah. So six times four, 24. Ours is, so it is taller than ours. Ours is 18. Yeah. But you guys know they didn't vault the ceiling. Mm. So technically on the inside, ours would feel just as big. Yeah, that's Literally true. just yeah. as big, the exact same size, just as big. So yeah. that's freaking awesome. Yeah. All right, so at this point, they do have a sidewalk that goes around. It's cool. They got lights mounted to it. Uh, they have their electric running in and everything. It just really looks like everything just has to be silicone and cocked. Uh, their electric uh, fits on there, silicone and caulked on there, and uh, faucets, all of that, the same windows, all of that. Uh, same thing as far as the back porch, just way smaller. Mm -hmm. This is a little too small than what I would like. So maybe an in-between from the front porch and this and one is, yeah. is what uh, we'll probably go for, but uh, very, very nice. I really, really like that. Um, here, it's, I understand it, this is not something uh, we would do, but they just have like a little hangout right here. We're going to have a deck and we're going to build a way out and all that, but I do love the fact that they have lights right here on the side, the way the yeah. beams are. I mean, everything from like, like you said, the beam with the lights and then like the whole vibe of it. Yes. Love it. Very, very cool. This is a new grain bin. You can tell it's probably never been used. Um, but ours has a little bit of patina to it. So then you add some uh, framing and stuff like that on it. The types of doors, all of it, it really flows very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, this has given us so much inspiration. I'm so excited. I just wanna go back and just start right now. Yeah, so technically 24 mm -hmm. by 28. Yes. And ours is 18 by 24. Mm -hmm. So you're not losing a lot. You're, lo you're losing enough to not make it exactly like this, mm -hmm. but we can almost do it spot on if we wanted. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're back inside. We're gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully this makes any doubts that anybody had go out the window and uh, it made a lot of our doubts go out the window mm -hmm. this sucker is freaking nice we have learned what we like don't like what we would change the different sizes everything mm -hmm. yeah do you think it was worth coming here <laughs> i would do it again and again yes no regrets if you could pick one thing that you would um not like what would it be you thought i was going to say what you would like what would you would not like um realistically the only thing is just how high the tv is yeah with with your living room being smaller you want the tv down a yeah more. and mine would be we don't need that area over there yeah so other than that we absolutely love it hopefully you guys like it hopefully you like the tour video mm -hmm. if you haven't seen the tour video go check that out uh we're doing uh crocker life videos we're doing all as much as we possibly freaking can mm -hmm. breaking this down for you guys because it is time for us to start our own green bin tiny house i thought we were ready 
And now we're starting over yeah. thinking of new ideas. So guys, comment down below what you guys like, didn't like, give us ideas. We need them because we are about to start.